Hey there all craft beer lovers. Thank you for joining me for another beer review. Well, time to go back to Gothenburg in Sweden, guys. We are heading back once again to Gothenburg Brew. Taking a look at another uh, addition out of their Barrel Thief series of beers. This is their uh, Whiskey Barrel Stout. Clocking in at 10.2% ABV. 330 milliliter bottle. They say, what do you get when you brew a cold mashed oat stout and let it rest on two separate types of barrels for 13 months? You get this, our second release from our barrel aging program, enjoy. There you go, guys. There's the artwork. That's the barrel thief right there. Uh, plain old bottle cap, black. With that said, guys, let's pop the top, see what we are going to get. Good little smoke on the bottle opening. Let's give it a good old gentle pour. Seems to be quite carbonated. Okay. Right. So what do we have? Here we go. Yeah. Looks pretty carbonated. There we go. A couple of more drops in. Right. Yeah, man, that looks pretty good. Four fingers worth of head, uh, beige colored, uh, good deal of carbonation, jet black beer in the glass. Yeah, man, good deal of uh, carbonation, nice presentation on the nose. Yeah, so quite immediately I get a fruity note and then I get a little bit of a smoky vibe uh, lingering kind of behind that fruitiness. Smoked fruits. Dark roasted malts. Smoked malts. Yeah, so I think this is some kind of peated whiskey barrels but I mean it smells nice it smells lovely so with that said let's dive in and see what we get cheers everybody Okay, so it's certainly very woody, very smoky, quite thin body. What I get up front before, just before I got that kind of, you know, big notes of smoke uh, and wood there, I get black currants. Get black currants on the taste. Then comes those smoky notes, heavy smoky notes. Yeah, lingering and lingering, uh, woody, dry, it's very dry, again. For me, it's too thin, uh, quite carbonated at the same time. Those and what I the, the only thing that I really get from the kind of the stout character from the beer in and of itself before they uh, threw threw it down those barrels, it's that kind of black currant vibe. And then you, it's all about smoky, dry wood notes uh, dominating totally the brew. Uh, yeah, man, what can I say? So uh, let's go for the final sip here, guys, and see what we're going to get then. Yes, I mean, it didn't really change. Uh, initial black currents, then it's all about some very, very heavy, smoky notes, uh, sm uh, smoked wood woody barrel uh very very dry uh i mean it's okay for me but i mean it's a little bit one-dimensional to be honest there 
Uh, I'm going to give it a three out of five. Thanks for watching.